Chapter 80 Elemental Affinity You are listening at NovelFull.audio Which elemental affinity did you gain? Sha Yun asked curiously. As a beast she was born with an elemental affinity, but she knew humans only unlocked it once the cultivator managed to access the middle Dantian and move into the realm of a master-ranked cultivator. Hui Yu was grumbling a little, before he answered, I am not sure. The only change I can feel is that I am many times stronger than I have ever been before. This is actually quite odd. Deep within the Dantian cave Lan Feng nodded, and his previous haughty expression was replaced by a confused frown. I can't feel your affinity. He said slowly. What do you feel? Hui Yu looked at Sha Yun apologetically before he sat down and entered a meditational position, after which he created a mental projection and moved to the lower Dantian. It was time for him to explore the depths of the changes in his body. Seated within the Dantian cave, Hui Yu's mental projection looked around and saw that a new tunnel dot like structure had appeared at the ceiling right above the Qi spiral. He noticed how strands of qi from the spiral were being sucked into the new tunnel at an incredibly slow pace. At this sight, Huiyu scrunched his brows and excitedly allowed his mental avatar to float up into the tunnel, to see where it ended. The tunnel was long and the stone cave twisted slightly from going upwards to becoming a slope. The tunnel walls had at first been jagged and rough, Yet the further Hui Yu moved, the smoother they became, and eventually Hui Yu no longer felt as though he was walking through a rough tunnel but rather a stone hallway. After traveling through this hallway for a period of time, Hui Yu reached a set of gates. The gate doors were massive and created from carved out stone, elaborate carvings of two phoenixes with a massive vermilion bird in the middle spreading a daunting yet resonant presence from the sealed entrance. Looking at the gate, Hui Yu could not help but wonder what had created such a thing within him. Dot, they were carved by Qi, like a manifestation. Lan Feng answered his question. Ever since you reached the peak of the ninth dot star practitioner rank, every excess strand of Qi you refined went into carving out this gate, allowing for you to open your middle Dantian. The more elaborate the gate, the more promising the spiritual seed will become. Hearing that, Hui Yu gaped. When your gate finished, all the qi you refined for the gate rushed back to the qi spiral, allowing for it to surge and push you into the master rank, but you have yet to open your middle dantian. Hui Yu nodded. It made sense that the surging power he felt before was from the return of all the qi he had refined over the last couple of weeks. At first, Hui Yu noticed that the essence he refined had vanished, yet he had assumed that it was due to him having hit the bottleneck. That he was simply unable to absorb more qi until he broke through. With excitement in his eyes and a slight tremble in his hand, Hui Yu placed his palm on the massive stone gate and gently pushed. After pushing, Hui Yu's brows sunk into an angry slope, because the stone did not move an inch. Are you an idiot? Lan Feng's bright voice sounded, uncontained laughter could be heard in his mind. This is a massive door. For you to unlock the middle Dantian, do you think it is as simple as just gently pushing it with your hands? The mocking words made Hui Yu consider his actions, and he let a self-mocking laughter escape his lips, as he caressed the big door in front of him. Breaking into my middle Dantian, huh? Hui Yu mumbled and with but a thought, the qi spiral in his lower Dantian instantly gyrated wildly before it shot a volley of qi strands into the newly opened tunnel where he now stood. With the speed the Qi was traveling at, it took no more than a split second before the strands had arrived at Hui Yu's side and gathered together in a ball. Spreading his arms, Hui Yu shaped the ball into a battering ram, proceeding to forcibly smash open the door with the spectral tool. The onslaught of the battering ram yielded no result at first, yet after a few consecutive strikes, the big stone door started to show signs of budging, before eventually the final strand of qi from his spiral had been integrated into the battering ram. Creaking sounds could be heard from the gate, as it slowly crumbled under the pressure, the gathering dust filling the air before revealing the appearance of a new cave. Gaping, Hui Yu dissolved the qi battering ram and allowed for each and every one of his qi threads to go into the Dantian cave once more where they settled down within the qi spiral, before he took a step into this new place. 
It was an inner cave unlike anything Hui Yu had ever seen before. He surmised its position to be somewhere beside the heart, yet the size was thousands of times bigger than that of the Dantian cave. Alas, the cave currently seemed just as empty as it was big. Looking at the cave, Hui Yu noticed that he had not a lot of space to move on, instead he was able to hover above the ground, which looked exactly like a dried up sea. No matter how much Hui Yu strained his eyes, nor how much qi he used to fortify them, it was impossible for him to see the end of the dried up sea. The only reason he knew how big it was, was because he could feel it with his mental projection. It was able to observe the entire body from the inside. This is huge. Lan Feng said in an astonished voice. It is obvious that the purity of your qi has produced miracles. Hui Yu could only nod. He had no way of knowing how large the spiritual sea was for other cultivators, but he was definitely of the impression that this sea was vast and would be difficult to fill up with spiritual energy. Just as Hui Yu was starting to feel slightly depressed, he noticed how gusts of qi appeared within the cave, and a copy of Hui Yu materialized in the very middle of the spiritual energy sea, where it was seated with closed eyes and hands neatly formed into the bird hand symbol. This copy looked exactly like the one within his lower Dantian and just like as that copy was refining qi from essence, this copy was attracting a steady stream of qi threads which in turn were absorbed. Ever so slowly, it started refining the first drop of spiritual energy. Hui Yu was silently observing the spiritual essence see in front of him for a long time before he finally managed to wrest his attention away. Looking next to him, Lan Feng was standing proudly and upright, looking at the same sea as Hui Yu. The white dot haired boy noticed how nostalgia was flooding him from Lan Feng's soul. To Lan Feng, Hui Yu was the only way he would be able to regain his body, not to mention getting revenge on the man who forced him into such a sorry state, and this step of forcing ajar the middle Dantian was only a small step on the road to greatness. However, this spiritual energy sea was so vast that it exceeded Lan Feng's every expectation, and although it would require much more effort to fill it up and advance into the king rank and thus finally the upper Dantian, it also made for a much stronger foundation.